Dr. Nematullahi or Dr. Nima for short. Uh, I have been associate faculty at the Purdue School of Engineering in Indianapolis for the last 15 years and I have also been industry consultant uh, in the area of simulation and uh, finite element modeling for the last uh, 20 years. I'm teaching here at ME 551, uh, Mechanical Engineering 551, which is the uh, finite element course. We also refer to it as the Computer Aided Engineering or the Simulation course. Uh, some semester I also teach uh, ME 546, which is a Computer Aided Design and the Computer Aided Manufacturing course. The Simulation course. Uh, we teach about 70% of our time is spent on theoretical background and finite element methods. So we teach the finite element formulations. We work on uh, various solution methods as well as uh, some structural dynamics. And uh, at the end of the semester, we also cover some of optimization as well as fluid flow analysis. In our labs, we generally use ANSYS in combination with the pro engineer to build our geometry. And also we work with the students students in about 15 labs to um, build a finite element model, create geometry, create mesh, and define boundary conditions and loads, and eventually to solve the problem and how to diagnose the problem, as well as at the end, uh, at the end of the solution, go to the post processor and uh, figure out what are the stress distribution if we do stress analysis, or what's the temperature distribution if we do heat transfer, or what's the uh, velocity vector, for example, if we do fluid flow analysis. In the uh, structural dynamics, we also uh, go after various kinds of dynamics and how to do velocity and position and acceleration um, that we do in the, in the uh, post-processing. We also uh, have a term project that student will group a group of four or five students work together on a uh, real project. We prefer students who, who are working outside in industry, which we have uh, quite a few of them here. They team up and work on the real world projects. Or if they don't have any project, we use what we call the capstone projects, which we do at ME 5, uh, 462. Or Typical uh, students' projects at the end of the semester as a team, there are a team of four or five, as I said, they uh, write a report and also present it to the other faculty as well as other students, including some of the graduate students. And uh, I particularly like this particular report because theoretical background is, is covered very nicely. All the stuff, uh, all the theoretical uh, background that we uh, taught in the class are uh, mentioned for this particular project, as you see here. All the equations, the elasticity equations, as well as uh, element formulation, like here for a uh, solid element, element formulation, and some of the assumptions that the students have made uh, in, the, in the project. Then at the end, we'll see all the pictures and the drawings. Uh, it, it's very real and like a real project that you do at work. We have another heat exchanger, a nice, nicely written project. Uh, generally, this report is very comprehensive with heat ex exchanger that other students have done. Actually, this particular project, Rassam was part of the team and worked on this project, the person who is preparing this uh, document. And here is another one, very nicely written document and very uh, clearly written project with all the finite element mesh done. We have another project here also, I like this one. It's written very clearly and, and uh, like a real um, kind of work that you do when you are in the industry and you work and with the table of contents and very detailed, thorough. There's another stress analysis project. And eventually we have all the tables and charts and graphs and the results at the end of the